Wagwan to all my nice and decent people out there, to all my viewers and subscribers. Thank you for very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. Now, the topic of today's subject is going to be about Vibes Cartel. And I know many of you out there are questioning and have this same quandary. And the quandary that they have is, how does Vibes Cartel record so much music while he is being incarcerated in prison and should not be able to record the music that he does? Now, many fans and people who are not fans of him have questioned this for so many years, going on 10 years from now. And of course, for example, in the last, in this year alone, he have released two full length albums and has also le released more than I want to say more than 30 tracks single tr singles in addition to the album that he has released and in an old interview with Billboard magazine the king of dancehall has was asked to reveal how he creates his music and the magic from behind bars well he didn't exactly release his secrets and the magic that he has but we all know that he has been re he has been recording behind bars whether he uses a phone or he uses um a full link studio that they do have in prison now now there is a prison there program that was set up that is set up by a music producer Mikey Bennett and this program called it's a rehabilitation through music now in both of the islands main correctional centers in Tower Street and in St. Catherine this program is meant to bridge the gap between the inner city community and the police department, which Vibes Cardell has denied that he has any involvement with this program as well. He has any involvement, he reportedly denied actually working with producer Mikey Bennett. And this is a program that requires convicts to show a little remorse for the crimes that they have committed but you know that vibes cartel has a has a starch and focus for the appeals that he had filed within recent years to be released and especially since He's going to have a hearing coming up very soon with the UK Privy Council, which will give him an opportunity to be heard and hopefully his appeal will come through and then he will be released. But until then, the hopes that he will be released, he has been continuing to produce and releasing for music you know he has been a a standalone artist for a very long time which recently he has just released a new 
I'm Strong with Squash and Chronic Law called Money With Love, which is a, is another new take of the shows the skills that that he has and also shows that he has been released in music with up-to-date lyrics in there. And the reason why I say that is because he recorded so much music that they had been using material and releasing material for for um, the things that he had recorded um, in the past. But we can all we can all hear for ourselves that the lyrics that he has in these songs are way more up to date than something that he may have done in 2009, 2010, and also in 2011. And I'm not even gonna go any release and talk about anything um, before that time. You know, because you know, nine years is a long time. 2010, that's a whole decade. You know how many, you know how much things has happened in during that time? So the 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 mystery of how he released so much music and the magic for for this is can still be a mystery, which we all know is not is not really a mystery at all, is it? Because there's only one or two ways that he can do it. He's either going into a studio or he's actually going on the phone and he's releasing the music in that in that way. But I want you to go ahead and comment down below. And tell me what do you think? Do, do you think he he has been doing the music? Yeah, we can go ahead and speculate how he's been releasing music. Yeah, you know, how she, how he's been doing it, considering that he denies that he's not working with uh, the producer inside of the program that they have inside of the prison in St. Catherine, which he is currently serving his sentence. But, uh, you know, uh, if you use any common sense, you, 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 we can kind of go ahead and figure that out, what he's been doing, you know, considering that, you know, he has, he has money. You know, he is not, he is not like most of the prisoners who will be going to spend their time and serving their, serving their time doing their um, incarceration. So we can go ahead and look and see what happened during this time. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's not difficult to see. It's not difficult to understand. It's not difficult to phys- figure out. But, you know, based on the interview that he has in, in the past year with uh, Billboard, in the Billboard magazine, um, you know, that was something that some of the fans had questioned how Five Cartel is actually releasing so much music while he's in prison. And they're all up to date. You don't know. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the post notification. Let's go ahead and get this to 1,999 likes on this one. And like always, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye. I just hear it again, goddamn. Son of a duck, come here. Do you have any fear? We don't.